And ladies and gentlemen, a few minutes ago, the International Court of Justice of The Hague has given its view on the Russian aggression. The Hague has ruled that the attacks have hit civilians and that Russia must halt its military operations immediately. So today marks a turning point. Will Putin pull back now? Can he afford to carry on? Let's debate. <laughs> reason behind taking up arms and is it the one of the most challenging experience of your life you know you're right it's uh, one of the toughest experience of my life because but uh, at the same time it's the easiest experience because I am on my own land they Russian troops have already fired nearly 1,000 missiles at Ukraine. Countless bombs, they use drones to kill us with precision. This is a terror that Europe has not seen, has not seen for 80 years, and we are asking for a reply, for an answer uh, to this uh, terror from the whole world. Is this a lot to ask for, to create a no-fly zone, zone over Ukraine to save people? <laughs> На нахуй, ебать. In all his addresses to world leaders, President of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky has always exhorted that it is time that the world stands united to protect Ukraine. In his latest address to the US Congress, he says there is a need for a new alliance, an alliance which is going to respond within 24 hours if any country faces an aggression like Ukraine has. We have every reason to believe that next to Russia, in Ukraine, next to Russian borders, they were basically creating components for a biological weapon. And our numerous warns that such developments have poses direct threat to the safety of Russia. They were rejected by Ukraine and by their patrons from the US. And they did it in a very brazen way. For the first time, Russia has indicated that the negotiations that they are having with Ukraine is showing some positive signs. In fact, for the first time, Vladimir Putin also made a mention of the fact that these negotiations are taking place with Ukraine, but once again, hitting out at the West, saying that the West does not understand Russia, does not understand the fact that Russia is protecting their values. This is the center of Donetsk with a deliberate attack on the civilian area by Ukraine forces. A civilian bus with a man killed. Oh my God. Uh, we have to do many things at the same time. We need to strengthen our air and missile defense. We are doing that. We need to invest more in advanced conventional capabilities. From day one of the invasion, Ukraine has made multiple appeals for a no-fly out zone. But NATO has ruled that out. US President Joe Biden says that a no-fly out zone is necessary or else this is going to be a full-fledged war between the West and Russia. NATO has also indicated that they are prepared and they are prepared for a long battle and they are going to protect each member of this alliance.